OK, in this question, we're given a function. And the function is comprised of a quartic, a polynomial to the power of 4, divided by a quadratic, a polynomial to the power of 2. And the numbers we can put in the domain is it x is any number. We're asked to find the values of a, b, c and d such that f of x is actually this here. So f of x, what we've really been asked to do is simplify this quotient, simplify this fraction uh, and perform the division. If we perform the division, we'll get a quadratic and some remainder term. So stu most students are taught this by uh, algebraic long division. Uh, so I'll show you that method. And if I've got time, I'll show you the method I sometimes use, which I find easier, but you may disagree with. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this divided by this. So we're going to do x to the power of 4, add x cubed, subtract 13x squared, add 26x, subtract 17. And we're going to divide it by x squared, subtract 3x, add 3. And we usually put this divide sign here like this. OK, the aim of the game is to try and sort the highest power out first each time. What do I need up on top here? So when I multiply that by this expression, I fix the x to the power of 4. Well, I need an x squared. If I put an x squared up there, x squared multiplied by this expression would be x to the power of 4, subtract 3x cubed, add 3x squared. Then I'd put a line underneath this, and I'd subtract the 2. So I'm going to subtract the 2 x to the 4 take away x to the 4 is nothing. I picked it. I picked this x squared on purpose so that that would be nothing. x, uh, x cubed take away negative 3x cubed is going to be positive 4x cubed. And negative, uh, 30, negative 13x squared take away negative 3x squared is negative 16x squared. At this stage, because I always want three terms, there's three terms here, I'm going to bring down this 26x like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a, put a term up there so that I get a 4x cubed down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up here and add 4x. Why? Because 4x multiplied by this gives me 4x cubed. It gives me negative 12x squared and it also gives me add 12x. And like I did before, I'm going to take these away from each other. So I'm going to take these away. 4x cubed take away 4x cubed is nothing. I chose that on purpose. Negative 16x squared take away negative 12x squared. It's like adding 12x squared. So you'd be left with negative 4x squared. And 26x take away 12x is going to be add 14x. I always want three terms, so I'm going to bring down the negative 17 here at that stage. OK, so what do I need up here to get me my negative 4x squared? Well, I'm going to need a negative 4. A negative 4 multiplied by this is negative 4x squared. Add 12x, subtract 12. Like that. So if I take these away from each other, I'm going to leave myself with a, uh, that will be nothing, that will be a 2x. Negative 17 take away uh, negative 12 is going to be negative 5. Okay, so I've finished at this point. So now I can say that f of x is going to be equal to, well this divided by this gives me this term here, gives me x squared add 4x take away 4, and it gives me this remainder. So it gives me remainder 2x subtract 5 over what I was dividing by, x squared subtract 3x add 3. So going back to our question, find the values of a, b, c, and d. We should state them. a is clearly 4, b is clearly negative 4, c was this number here, is clearly 2, and d is clearly negative 5. Okay, so that's the way you do it by long division. Um, one way I might do it, I'll just do it very, um, I'll try and do it very quickly. It's up to you to decide whether you like this way. Um, I I know that x to the power of four, the thing I'm trying to divide by, uh, plus x cubed subtract thirteen x squared 
add 26x, subtract 17, this thing is going to be uh, equal to the, th the thing I'm dividing by, I'm dividing by x squared, subtract 3x, add 3, multiplied by some quadratic. Okay, and then I'm going to get a remainder term. So let's just think what this needs to be. I clearly need an x squared there, because that x squared will give me the x to the power of 4 I'm after. Okay, so I'm sorted with that term. However, the problem is it creates for me a negative 3x cubed, and it creates for me a plus 3x squared, which I don't want. Let's try and fix this term next. What do I need here? I need to uh, fix this to an x cubed, so I want to add a 4x cubed. So what do I need here to get me that? Well, if I add a 4x, this multiplied by this gives me the 4x cubed I want, and I've sorted out this term here. The problem is it creates for me a negative 12x squared, and it creates for me and add 12x. Okay, so so far these two, uh, so these two here, they're negative 9x squared. I want negative uh, 13x squared, so I'm going to have to subtract another 4x squared. What needs to go here? Well, clearly negative 4, because negative 4 multiplied by that gives me what I want, and I've now fixed this term. However, the problem is it creates for me. Uh, add 12x and a negative 12. Okay, so so far I've got 24x here. So to get what I want, uh, I've got 24x here and I've got negative 12 here. I'm going to have to add on to get to get myself the 26x I want. I need another 2x here and I need to take away 5 here. So it's going to be 2x take away 5. So basically that's me performing long division in a quicker way. So I got the same answer. I got um, x squared plus 4x subtract 4, and I got the 2x subtract 5. It's up to you what way you prefer. Anyway, um, the next part. Point P is uh, is on the curve and has x coordinate 1. Show that the normal uh, to that has the following equation. Okay, so firstly, rather than use that complicated x, from now on, we're going to clearly use that f of x is equal to x squared add 4x subtract 4 plus 2x subtract 5 all of that divided by x squared take away 3x add 3 that's the function we're going to use now we're going to try and get the equation of the normal so y minus y1 is mx minus x1 so we need uh, an x1 y1 points on the on the curve and the normal first now we're asked when x is equal to 1 so let's find the y coordinate. f of 1. Let's work out f of 1 to work out the associated y coordinate. So you can get your um, calculator out here and you can just type into it uh, x squared add 4x take away 4. And then we're going to have plus of a quotient, which is 2x subtract 5 all over. Um, x squared take away 3x add 3 and you're going to press calculate and you want where x is 1 so you put in 1 and you get negative 2 as the associated y so you get negative 2 so your coordinates therefore are you've got 1 and negative 2 so you've got yourself a nice easy mark for that now next we're going to need the gradient of the normal for the gradient of the normal we need the gradient of the tangent so we're going to have to work out f dashed x or the differential. So f dashed x, what's that going to be equal to? Well it's going to be equal to the differential of this thing here. So it's going to be equal to the differential of uh, all of this here. So uh, if we differentiate this we get 2x add 4. Now how do we differentiate this? Plus I'm just going to put for now the differential, I'm not going to do it, the differential of 2x subtract 5 over x squared take away 3x add 3. I'm just going to, so I've differentiated this first bit, but I still have to differentiate this. The reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a working for that because this is a quotient rule. Okay, we're trying to do a quotient rule here where that's your u and that's your v. 
So u is equal to 2x subtract 5. So u dashed is going to be 2. And v is equal to x squared take away 3x add 3. So v dashed is going to be 2x take away 3. So therefore this differentiates to... Uh, we know that the formula for this is v u dashed take away u v dashed all over v squared. So v u dashed is going to be these two multiplied. So it's 2 multiplied by this. So it's 2x squared subtract 6x add 6. And we're going to take away these two things multiplied together. So I'm going to put big brackets 2x subtract 5. 2x subtract 3 and all of that divided by this squared. So x squared take away 3x add 3, all of that squared. Okay, let's try and work this out. So we've got 2x squared subtract 6x add 6 and then take away everything in, in this multiplied out. So that would be 4x squared and that would be negative 6x, negative 10x and negative 16x and then add 15 all over x squared, take away 3x, add 3 squared. Okay, which is going to be equal to that, take away that is negative 2x squared. This take away that is going to end up uh, being positive, so it's going to give us uh, positive 10x. And this take away this is going to give us um, um, negative 9 all over x squared, take away 3x, add 3 squared. Okay, so that was that part there. So what is our f dashed x in total? Our f dashed x then, going back here, our f dashed x was this part here, this part, plus the answer we've just got for that quotient. So it's going to be 2x, add 4, and with all this, plus negative 2x squared, add 10x, take away 9, all divided by x squared, take away 3x, add 3 squared. Now we want the gradient of the tangent at the point x is 1, so we want to put in the point 1 here. So again, I'll just get my calculator out here. I'll try and get your calculator to do the donkey work. So 2x, add 4, plus this quotient, which is a negative 2x squared, add 10, x take away 9 all over and brackets don't forget it's squared on the bottom x squared subtract 3 x add 3 all squared and when you press calculate and you want to put 1 in there and you get for yourself that the gradient is equal to 5 now just something to note here you you didn't have to like play around with this and simplify and expand this out etc too much if at an earlier point you felt confident that you had the, the gradient, um, like here without, without simplifying, you could have substituted into there. There was nothing in the question that asked you to show it algebraically, so you could have substituted at any point here, but I felt it to, to get to this point was the best to substitute in. So the gradient, you can state that the gradient of the tangent is equal to 5, therefore the gradient of the normal must be the negative reciprocal, so negative a fifth. So let's use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1. So therefore y subtract negative 2 is going to be equal to negative a fifth x subtract 1. Now I'd multiply everything by 5, and th this is y add 2, this turns out. So I'd multiply everything by 5. 5y five plus 10 is equal to negative x take away 1, so 5y plus 10 is equal to negative x add 1, and so what we do finally, uh, we're asked to we're asked to show that the following is true, so I could add x to both sides, so I'd have x add 5y and take away 1 from both sides, uh, plus 9 is equal to 0 as required. Okay, now just one thing to point out. If you've got the good calculator here, at this point here, you're asked to show the normal to the curve as this equation. Say you've got that as your function, right? You can use the calculator 
Uh, and you can, uh, like, this is if you're really struggling. Now, you, there are marks available for actually showing your differential. There are lots of marks available, so you must show that. But just say you're struggling to get the answer and it can't quite come out right, you're getting lost in algebra. If you press D by DX, okay, and you differentiate the function that they give, they, they've given to you, so this one here, so uh, you can say X squared add 4X take away 4, yeah? And then you're going to add, and then this quotient, which is a 2x subtract 5 all over x squared take away 3x add 3. And you substitute it. This differentiates for you and substitutes in the number 1 you're looking for. It tells you uh, that the answer is a gradient of 5. Now that might help you with your working. If you're slightly out, it might help you with the working. If at worst case scenario you're totally in a mess here and you can't get the answer, you could type it in, get a gradient of 5, and then get your remaining marks as required. Now you can't just type it in, just to be clear, and get 5 and then move on. You have to try and show this working. There's loads of method marks, but this is to check your answer. If When you get 5, that's a way of checking it. And also if you're totally stuck, you're getting lost, you're getting messy answers, um, it would be useful to just uh, move forward with five for the last few marks.